In this tutorial in Expression Web, we're going to look at how to take a website that you have on the internet, bring it into Expression Web, make a copy on your local machine so that you can manage it locally and then upgrade the changes right through Expression Web. So I'm going to click on that uh, site button at the very top in my menu system and we'll click on new site. Now I'm going to need a file folder to store my site in and uh, my default says example 2 because of other words I've used before. Uh, let me just go ahead and we'll call this uh, my test. So this uh, will be the folder that will store the files in my website that I will import from online to my local computer. And I'll click on the import site wizard. I'll double click on that and it will go ahead and it will say where is my site. Now if it's on the internet I'm going to use FTP. If we're off a hard drive that I wanted to import it I would simply use file system. But I want FTP here so I'll go uh, www do my sharper turtle and then the directory it may vary on your system oftentimes it will be something like public uh, underscore HTML and then I'll click on my next tab and now it wants a username and password I'm going to pause this while I type that in and after I click OK it opens the site and it asks me if I want to add it to my current site which is empty I'll I'll leave this on and click on next and then it says congratulations I'll click on finish and now it will open up a screen that, that you can use to take local content and move it to the web or web content and move it back to my local area in order to move any of these it's a bit like some free programs like FileZilla you can take any particular page highlight it on the right side, click the arrow, and it will get file from the destination and bring it back into the other page. And you have a marker to tell you if you've done that or not. So what I want to do is I will highlight, first of all, these main pages, and then I'll click the arrow pointing left, and it will go ahead and show me the progress. And now it's taken all those pages and it's placed them in my folder. Now I have to make sure I do more than pages. I need to copy some file folders. This is a JavaScript folder. And I'll click it and reproduce it on my local system. And I get an error message on a certain folder. That's fine. That's normal. Now if I want to make sure the contents the same, I can click on the JavaScript folder. And on this JavaScript folder, and I say, oh, OK, the contents are not identical. So what I want to do then, once I'm in the folder, I'll highlight the items and we'll put those from the JS folder to the JS folder. I'll also take this subfolder and copy that over. And that's normal, that error message there. Okay. Then I'm going to go up a level. This uh, underscore VTI underscore CNF file is uh, not something I wrote. It's something that's part of the system. I don't fully understand it, but I don't need it to be copied to in order to work. I'll have a folder here called free. I'll copy this to the left. And in this case, if I click on free here and free here, the contents are identical. I'm good. I click the up arrow to go up a level back to where I started. I'll click on my CSS folder, move that one over. OK, I still get the same error on this one. Um, the, the folder's not in the current state because I have the website open. OK, now let's look at CSS over here. That's blank. I'll click on CSS on the right and we'll move this file over. I'll click on images and I'll move that file over and I see it's copying uh, information inside my image file so I click images on the left 
images on the right. It looks like we copied everything. Okay, so that looks good. I'll go up a level. Okay, and this is the file that is dynamic, that it won't copy well. I'm not going to worry about that. We'll go up one more level. Back to our uh, other area. It looks like I have the free file CSS JavaScript. Let's copy community over. The, my community folder here is about a WordPress site. And so I can click here and then I can double click on the blog. And I have all these items here. And they were correctly copied to my local system. So I'll go back up all the way to my home page here and up to the home page here on the live site. And it looks like I have everything. Now when you're done doing that, you can click this little plug here which is disconnect. The, the red means you're connected to the internet. And I'll disconnect now. And I can go back to my folders. And now I have a perfect copy of my entire website.